time to wake up to make a drink. Hi everyone. It's great to be awake after so many months of lockdown. My name is Colin and I'm the owner of Nutmeg and Clove Singapore and hashtag find the locker room Bangkok. Thank you to Jillian and the team for passing this shaker to us and it's a great honour for us to be involved in such a meaningful initiative by 50 Best Bars. Today I'll be representing hashtag find the locker room Bangkok but the filming is being done in Singapore. Most of the bars are still closed but things are looking better for us day by day. The initiative that I'd like to share with you currently in Bangkok that we are supporting is COVID-19 Bangkok Relief. A little go a long way. So for as little as 300 baht, a family of four will be taken care of. So go to the link below to find out more on how you can help this charitable organization. So today, I'm going to share with you a cocktail that is really popular in hashtag find the locker room. It is the Harikiri. This is a Japanese twist on the Bloody Mary. So right here we are using fresh tomato juice, a blend of red and green tomato, so 90 ml. A little matcha syrup, followed by 30, 25 ml of umeshu, which is plum wine. A little bit of citrus, followed by the best vodka in the world, in my books, the Ketawan Citron. A pot steel vodka from the land of Skidam in the Netherlands. So I'm adding about 60 ml. You can add more if you want to. Some cracked pepper. Add more if you like spiciness. Some salt. And we are ready to go. A cube of ice, just to make it cold without diluting it too much. Give it a good shake in a plastic shaker. You just want to emulsify without diluting. And then a nice highball. I'm very thirsty, so I'm going to start with a oh, Mikta Sonic with London Essence. Fantastic. Oh, there you have it. A nice. Hari Kiri. Ah, sweet, umami, some sweetness from the matcha, cracked pepper, spiciness, and saltiness. So I hope you enjoy this drink in the comfort of your own home. Remember, stay safe, stay strong, love, not hate. Next song, I'm going to pass this shaker all the way to Mexico City, Jose from Nimador. Hi guys, how are you? My name is Jose Luis Leon. I'm from Mexico City. I'm, I'm the head bartender of Limantur. So we have two locations, Roma and Polanco. We are here today in our new bar. We were under renovation for almost two months. Uh, and beside that, we are working in a project about to create like a cocktail to bring home. So we did this together with the guys from Altos Tequila. And this is one of our famous recipes here in Limantur that is called Margarita al Pastor. So to prepare a Margarita Pastor, we need tequila blanco, alcohol of course, uh, triple sec, lime juice, and taco mix. What is taco mix? It's pineapple juice with basil, mint, coriander, chili, and pineapple juice. So the idea today is to try it, of course, and I think so it's much better to try this one. So when this beauty arrives at your home, you need to put ice in a glass, shake a little bit, and then just Cheers, guys. Buenísimo. Enjoy. Now it's a turn for my friend, the vendor. Papi, it's your turn. Thank you so much for sending me this amazing shaker all the way from uh, Le Corella Lemon Tour. And thank you so much for the Asia 50 Best for making me part of this amazing challenge which is past the shaker. My name is Devinder Kumar and I'm talking to you from 8.5 Auto Emesa Bombana, which is a 3 Michelin star Italian restaurant here in Hong Kong. And we have a tiny bar which 
uh, represent me and my team and uh, being part of Asia 50 best four years in a row and this year we were in the 28 uh, ranking at the Asia 50 best bar but you know having said that it's a very tough time for everybody you know um, with the with the given situation and pandemic everything is shutting down and places are going into a lockdown it's been very very challenging for everybody like here in hong kong we 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 the bars are closed for about two weeks already so it's it's insanely challenging and some bars can sustain some bars uh, doesn't sustain unfortunately so in this case we have to support each other you know in whatever form you can you know buying cock, uh, ready-made cocktails or buying uh, a, a beer if the, the bar is making beer or anything or buying vouchers for for or whenever the bars open then they can go and consume the liquid whatever you know in whichever form you can support just go and please support because it's really really important especially when you know that the, you don't have people coming from outside so we have to support within our own community uh, each other where we can grow together right on that note I thought maybe we should make a drink which has been celebrated uh, around the world which is the Negroni it's been more than 100 years the drink exists but I thought maybe we do it our way, you know, a little twist on a Negroni, which is our signature drink as well. How difficult it is to guess that an Italian restaurant has their signature Negroni. Like, really? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so we, here we have a tanker gin, about one ounce. And then we have a Mancino vermouth. One ounce and then Campari. Yeah, they say there is no Negroni without Campari. Is that true? And then we thought maybe we add a little bit of twist to it. So here we have adding a little bit of uh, Mr. Black, which is the coffee liqueur. And ciao, Marti! And in new, I want to also take this opportunity to congratulate Martin for his new book. I hope you're doing well, my friend. And then a little bit of orange and grapefruit bitter. One dash each. So when we make it here in the restaurant, what we do, we make the pre-batch. And then we uh, keep it overnight with the lemon and orange uh, fruit. So we just macerate it overnight so that it kind of makes the Negroni a bit more softer that's the idea behind it but here we're not going to do that and then we're going to add some ice and then we're going to start to roll rock and roll The rolling is actually gonna help to aerate the drink, which we want from our drink. Right now, gonna add on top, and to finish it off, we're gonna add the orange. Because orange and coffee also match my dinner habit. And orange goes brilliantly well with the uh, Negroni, which has been a classic garnish for years. So here we go. Eight and a half Negroni. Cheers. Mm. And now I need to pass the shaker to Ryan in Lioness. Ciao, Ryan! One work. Samantha, one work. Ciao! Hello, my name's Will. I'm the head bartender at Lioness London, number 39 in the 50 best bars list. I'm talking to you from sunny old France, where I'm staying with my girlfriend and her family. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you for the nomination. We're taking part in the Pass the Shaker initiative, where we're acknowledging bars and restaurants and bartenders from around the world. Uh, I really wanted to make note of London bars, how they've shown the initiative in these testing times, offering a whole new range of batch cocktails, hatch cocktails, and everything in between. Click below for any more information. Um, Seeing as we're in France, I wanted to make something that was both quintessentially French 
and that stuck true to the Linus principles, uh, which is championing single ingredient or single flavor uh, and bringing that to the fore as much as possible. Um, to do that, I wanted to use a quintessentially French spirit, uh, which is VSOP Cognac. Um, as you know, VSOP Cognac has those notes of brioche and stone fruit, and these are the two kind of profiles that I really want to bring through in this drink. So first of all, we're going to splash and dash some cognac. Next up, we've got a chestnut based syrup. So this is simply maceration, chestnut, sugar and water. Um, this is going to give us those kind of really big, bold brioche notes, as well as a slightly creamy finish. Third ingredient, seeing as we're not too far away from Dijon, uh, I've got some creme de peche. This is going to give you fruitiness, it's going to give you acidity, it's going to act as a real nice balancing agent for the drink. Next up, we're just going to give it a little stir. And seeing as it's the summer and it's nice and warm, we're going to top it up with some Perrier sparkling water, essentially creating a little highball. Lastly, you just got to incorporate all those ingredients together. And then we're going to garnish it with a bay leaf from the garden behind you. This one here is the Chatigny. So next up, I want to nominate a good pal of mine, uh, Carlos Iris from La Factoria in Puerto Rico in San Juan. Thank you. Oh. Thank you from Lioness. Uh, thank you for passing us the shaker. My name is Carlos Irizarri from La Factoria, number 32 best bar uh, from the 50 best bars. Uh, it is a great honor to be part of this initiative. Así que, first of all, we would like to show our support for the tip jar from Puerto Rico Cocktail Week. You can hit the link below, swipe up and you can connect with these guys that are doing an amazing job for the, the service industry and hospitality community here in Puerto Rico. Así que we're going to make an amazing cocktail. It has been a staple of La Factoria. Say hi to Ricardo. Our cameraman. So, I am going to make a very special cocktail uh, with Kettle One Vodka. We are doing the Lavender Mule. To do the Lavender Mule, we start with half an ounce of lime juice. We do three quarters of an ounce of our Lavender and Dry Spice Syrup infusion. And we do our amazing refresco de jengibre, which is our ginger tea. Three quarters of an ounce also. And then obviously, get the one vodka from Shidam, straight from Shidam. An ounce and a half. So that amazing mix. We give it a nice shake around the factoria. We prepare our top of ice. Boom. And this is the classic lavender mint. Ah, salud, my friends. Magnifico. So, I would like to send this shaker straight to Hong Kong to the wise king to Sandeep. Así que, lo cacha. Si? <laughs> Super bien. Hi everyone, first of all I thank you to 50 Best Bar for giving me this opportunity, thank you. Uh, my name is Sandeep Kumar, I'm a co-founder of Vice King, number 18 in Asia 50 Best. Thank you Leslie for give, uh, passing me the shaker from the La, La Factoria. And I would like to share something, recently in Hong Kong government was compulsory made to make everyone to wear the mask in the public. 
and I request all to wear the mask of your own health and safety. And today I'm here to make some drink which is called like cafe bamboo. It's our signature drink. Let's start, okay? Here we go, we have some ice and I already blend my pre-batch of uh, cafe mezcal and sherry. So I use this as 45 ml. And all time my favorite, which is Manchino Kinato. Very good. It's made from a Barolo wine. And led with all the vermouth from Manchino. Let's give a gentle stir. Welcome to Operation Dagger. Thank you, Sandeep, from uh, the Wise Bar in Hong Kong for passing the shaker. And thank you, 50 Base Bar, for inviting us. We are here in Operation Dagger Lab, where we are running our new project called Dagger Metamorphosis. You can click through to know more about this. And we're gonna make a super simple drink today that's called Banana High. As the name goes, it comes in a eyeball. And first, you need some banana spirit, salty banana. So it's super easy to make. Dehydrate some banana in your oven, add some salt, infuse that in a spirit of your choice for a couple of days. And for this drink, we're gonna use 40 milliliters of that. So just a tiny bit, that's a quite a light drink. That's a morning drink. And then we top it up with fresh coconut water. Quick stir. Up, add more coconut. And we're good to go. So very refreshing and delicious. Santé. And now we're passing the shaker to Andrei from Coupette in London. Cheers. Thank you so much Thomas from Operation Dagger in Singapore for passing the shaker to me. Hey guys, my name is Andre Marco and I'm the bar manager of Pet at the 23rd best bar on top 50's list and I'm super proud and excited to be part of this beautiful campaign. Uh, if you're ever in uh, East London, we're back open for delivery and takeaway, so please come by. And meanwhile, I'm gonna make you one of my favorite drinks on our Sunday developments menu and it's called the One Night Stand. We are basing it on kettle on, 30 ml of it, then 20 ml of gentian liqueur for the beautiful fragrant notes. We got 20 ml of passion fruit cordial for fruitiness and a tiny bit of sweetness and last but not least 20 ml of lime juice. We're gonna give this a quick shake. And 
serve it in a high bowl. Finish it with a touch of London Essence, Peach and Jasmine Soda. This is very, very good. Now, I'm gonna pass this shaker to Steve from Employees Only in New York. See you later. Thank you, Andre from Coupet. Hey everybody, it's Steve from EO. Number 20, uh, what number were we last year? I don't, I don't remember. We were somewhere in the middle, I don't really remember. I'll do some research and I'll put it up in the corner or something and the post, but uh, I'm Steve from Employees Only. As you can see, we are closed. And we've been closed during this whole pandemic. We're just, you know, for safety reasons and we're just kind of waiting it out till we could come back at close to full strength, if not full strength. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna make a drink here with some of the sponsored products, Campari and Mancino Vermouth. This is Rosso Italiano, only available at Employees Only around the world. And a little bit of Perrier. Simple Americano, it's a hot day, it's one of my favorite drinks. We're gonna do one ounce of each. Nice. Top off with Perrier. Then we're gonna give it a little bit of a short stir, mix things up. Shingo hates when I use these, but I don't have any tools, so I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> we're gonna garnish it then with a big fat orange slice, and there you have it. Americano, hot day, Steve from Employees Only. Everybody be safe out there, okay? Thank you, 50 Best. I'll see you all soon. This is for Andrea from Shojet. Shojet in Stockholm. I hope I said that right. Andrea. Oh, are we rolling? Mm. Okay. What up, Steve? Employees only, New York City. Thank you for nominating us for the great initiative, Pass the Shaker. My name is Andreas Bergman, your favorite bartender's favorite bartender, and soon your favorite bartender. We're here at Shogun in Stockholm, Sweden, ranked number 37 on the 50 best list. We're gonna make a co uh, small cocktail, but first, We've been asked to do a small uh, initiative of some sort. We've decided that there's one big initiative we really want to support at the moment, which is the Black Lives Matter movement. We always support human rights, and for us that means supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. You can find more info in our bio, link in bio at Shogit's Instagram. Just go there. You can do different ways of supporting, both uh, with money and other ways of support. Just go to the website, check it out. Do your research, find more information, and make sure to support the Black Lives Matter movement. Otherwise, you're a racist. We would like to present a cocktail to you guys. Something super simple, something you guys can make at home, uh, or at your bar, of course. We're gonna make a Disarono Shakerato. So two shots of Disarono. That would be two. Two shots of espresso. Two and a splash of sugar, some good consistency, and of course some ice. Put some ice, pour it in. Shake, 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 shake. Mm. You can feel it. Feel it getting colder, thicker. That looks beautiful. All right, guys, pour your Disarono Shakerato into a coupette. There we go. Let's see. Oof, that's good. Mm, that's actually great. Guys, thank you for nominating us for being part of the Pass the Shaker initiative. Thank you, Steve, at Employees Only New York City for nominating us. We would like to nominate our good friend Alistair at 
happiness forgets in London town. Until next time, see you soon. Enjoy the summer. Thank you very much, Andreas. Uh, my name is Alistair. I'm from Happiness Forgets in London. We've been on the 50 best bars list for nine years now. Uh, we've been open for nearly 10. Um, I am, however, not going to be making you a drink today. I'm going to pass you over to my very talented bar manager, Chelsea Bailey, where I swap the shaker for my motorbike helmet because I've got to go and deliver some cocktails to the good people of London. Take it away, Chelsea. Hi guys, so as Ali just said, I am Chelsea, I am the bar manager here. So he has gone off to uh, deliver some cocktails. Um, home deliveries is something we've been doing for 12 weeks now since the UK lockdown. Um, every week we have an uh, international bar takeover giving us two guest drinks that we kind of share the love around the world. Um, you can see the link at the bottom to our website if you guys want to have a look at that. And please, anyone that wants to be one of our guests, please do get in touch with us, we'd love to have you. So, like any great bar, we have our own variation and twist on a Manhattan. So we're going to make this today with Mictus Rye. So I'm going to start by using 50ml per cocktail of the rye whiskey. Then instead of vermouth, we're going to use a really nice dry Amontillado sherry. So this is going to be 20ml of the sherry per drink. And then just to add a touch of sweetness, just to bring these two ingredients together, we're going to use a really, really tiny amount, 5ml of a really delicious maple syrup. And then just to balance the cocktail, we're going two dashes of bitters. So this drink has been a part of Happiness uh, Forgets menu since we first opened uh, nearly 10 years ago. Uh, it repeats itself in the menu, but also it's a drink that our customers or guests really, really like. Um, we're also going to be having it on the um, home delivery menu next week as well, by popular demand. So we're going to give this a nice little stir, and I'm just going to serve it up in a lovely chill cook. is the San Sebastian. I'm just going to garnish it with a little cherry. Um, we just want to say thank you so much to everyone so far that supported us and been with our guests and it's my pleasure to pass the shaker to one of our first guest bars we have to the legendary Than uh, Thanos in Athens, the Babu Aram cocktail bar. Thank you. <laughs> 